Hello, Archaea here, and I am going to be listening to the full version of the Girls Frontline opening, which is Bad Candy by Yuka D. D. I don't know if there's a different way to pronounce that, but I think it's Yuka D. D. Either way, I've heard a little bit of this song because, you know, I it was in the other video, which is actually on my other channel, but I'm going to leave it there because why... Why it caused a mess like that. Anyways, I'm going to move forward. Um, so I've been waiting for the full version of this song to drop because, like I said, I've heard a little bit of it and it was really good. And I'm really excited for the Girls Frontline anime to come out because I've been playing the game for a few years now and I'm pretty attached. So it'll be really nice to see it actually come out in an anime form because oh, it's actually just such a good story. So I hope that I hope that they did a good job with this. Either way, let's... Let's just, let's just put this in our ears, eh? Also, it's four minutes and 20 seconds long, so it's pretty good.
Okay, so there's a little more. I don't think that's part of the song. I think that's the outro on the channel. Well, that was interesting. I mean, it's it's definitely a very catchy song. I'm I'm wondering why they decided to go with a an English intro. I mean, maybe like I I'm shocked that the whole thing was pretty well English. I mean, that's you would think that they would want to make a good portion of it like Japanese. You'd think. Do you think that maybe that they made that decision because such a large player base is like the English player base? I'm wondering. Uh but <laughs> I feel like the English player base probably would have preferred if it was in Japanese. I don't know. It's 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 a tricky thing. I wonder if I don't know. It is it's definitely not a bad song. It's it's a bop. It's a bop. I feel like it could have used a lot of Japanese in it though. I don't know, I feel like that would have fit a little better. But oh, Odin. Oh, no. Sorry, my cat. I feel like that would have fit a little bit better if they had it be mostly Japanese. Even if it was just like an English chorus or something. Um But yeah, no, it definitely not terrible. It reminds me a lot of Utara Hikaru. But um yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I wonder what the outro will be because this is supposedly the intro to the anime i'm just gonna look up real quick no there is no released plans or there's there's no released oh sorry there's no released info about what the outro will be but it's coming out so soon So January 2022. So it will be coming out next month. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yes. I'm actually, I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. They better they better have some like subtitles out there because I, I just I just I, I need to see it. I need to see it. It needs to, needs to happen. It needs to happen. So yeah. Anyways, um I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Do you guys have any speculations about the show? Do you think that they're going to change much? I did notice that they don't have too many Sangvis characters in the promotion, including on their website. So I don't think it's going to cover too much of the story. And like they just released chapter 13 in uh, in the English, uh, the English version of the game. So there's a lot to cover, plus all of the other campaign stories and everything. There's an awful lot going on there, and I'm wondering if it's going to be like a long-running show. Uh, I just hope that they take their time with it and actually manage to put out something that's like solid. Because I love this game, and I love the story, and I'm really attached to the characters, and I don't want to see them butcher it. Uh, so, I don't know. Leave your opinions down in the comments below. Uh, if there's anything you noticed... Um, if there's anything you're excited about anything you're not excited about and yeah i'll see you in the next video i guess bye <laughs>